What's up, Internet? This is the 84th Wolf. And Obsidian Melody. And welcome back to Wolf Watches. Today, we'll be bringing you the sixth episode of Ruby Volume 5, Known by Its Song. So, last episode, we focused on... Who did we focus on? We focused on uh, a little bit of Adam, Blake. a little bit of Blake, a little mm -hmm. bit of, uh, of Adam, a little bit of Ruby... And uh, so none of Yang and Weiss. None of Yang and Weiss. So this is going to be a Yang and Weiss episode. And um, they're at Raven's camp, mm -hmm. and they're about to talk to Raven before f essentially forcing Raven to send them to Crow. Mm -hmm. And I'm really hoping that happens this episode because I really want to see Yang's reaction with Ruby. That's going to be <laughs> awesome. Um, God. Um, what else? <laughs> I mean... There's so much going on. Yeah. I mean, it, I just don't know what's <laughs> going to happen. What's Raven going to say? How's mm -hmm. it going to pan out? And you, we usually get a little bit of Ruby in every episode, right? Yeah. So I wonder what... Maybe maybe because they're doing Raven, they'll do a thing about Crow. Mm -hmm. What if uh, it finally shows Crow, like, start recruiting people? Oh, yes. The not-so reputable huntsman yeah how cool would that be if we got a little bit of uh, extra characters like that that would be cool especially if they're named characters yeah i mean if if these care if these characters if it goes into any depth with these characters they're gonna have names they're gonna have personalities mm -hmm. and yeah they might only be here for this season but they will be a part of the season you know mm -hmm. what i mean it just doesn't make sense that like that they would do it i know the way that you're doing um Let's see. What else? Anything? No, uh, nothing that I can think of. You hit it on the head. Yeah. I. Uh, I mean. Yeah. Oh, I mean, if anything, any extra thing that we get is probably something relating to Adam, oh, and yes. I and Ilya, uh, and the Belladonna family. Yeah. Oh. That was a big bombshell. That that was, and I'm just wondering if uh, if, and we learned that the messenger got killed. Yes. So I wonder if they're gonna say anything about it this episode or they're going to wait for the next episode to send Blake to Mistral mm -hmm. to Warren Haven Academy. That would be cool. Okay, so that pretty much covers anything of importance. And let's get right into the episode again. We're skipping the intro to hopefully help with the not copyright infringement thing. So wish us luck. Okay, so we're going straight to Crow. Regular or the special? I'm actually looking for someone. Goes by the name Shiro One. Ever heard of him? Shiro One. I heard he's a regular around here. I'm not hearing anything. Who's You're not hearing anything? No. Hey, I'm not some cop, if that's what you can, mean. Can you, yeah. I need okay. Shiro okay. for a game. <laughs> All right, go sorry. Way back. I, I was like, so quiet. Way back, huh? So, he's a friend of yours. Hmm, yeah, I'd say so. He's a pretty alright guy. Well, in that case... You tell that jerk that he better not show his ugly face in here until he pays me the lien he owes me! Uh, did I say friend? <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I meant acquaintance. <laughs> really, we're just colleagues. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for your time, buddy. I'll just be taking off now. First time I've ever seen Crow kind of scared. <laughs> I, need, I need a drink after that. Oh, so he's got. So he has the list of potential people, Great and start. I was looking for him. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was unnecessary. Okay, this is getting a little wacky. Heather Shields. Oh. 
Oh, uh, uh, hey there. Uh, I'm looking for Heather. Look, pal, I've had a rough day. Do you know where she is or not? Daddy? Does he know where Mommy is? Oh, come on. I, uh... I'm sorry to bother you. What? This is a great start. Mm -hmm. I kind of feel like there's something happening with the Huntsman. Well, they are all away. <sighs> well, with that, I feel like they're not just away. Oh, they're like they're not getting any... There. Yeah. Maybe. Mm -hmm. He's thinking about it. Search and rescue. Oh. They went. They were all on search and rescue or to seek and destroy missions. Mm -hmm. Either too many Grim or maybe Cinder was taking out the people. Mm -hmm. You got a lot of nerve showing up back here, unless you brought that idiot with you. How much did Shiro owe you? Well, I'd say about 16,000 Lian. God. Wait, what? Man, you must be in some serious trouble with him if you're paying me off. His name is clear. Yeah. That idiot. I'm guessing he just assumed that he's dead. Mm hmm. Yeah. Also no funnest establishment. interesting. Mm -hmm. Different. So, what's the truth? You know, it's better when it's hot. You know, you're really obnoxious. <laughs> the truth is that truth is hard to come by. A story of victory for one person is a story of defeat for someone else. By now, your uncle has surely told Ruby and her friends plenty of stories. Well, he's never given me a reason to doubt him before. That doesn't mean those reasons don't exist. You know, you and your teammates might as well be the poster children for the Huntsman Academies. Your motives vary, but you all enrolled to try and make the world a better place. It's adorable. It's what Huntsmen and Huntresses do. Not all of them. Some people are just in it for the money and the fame, but there's even more that are just looking to grow stronger. Your Uncle Crow and I didn't attend Beacon to become Huntsmen. We did it to learn how to kill Huntsmen. Daddy and Uncle left that part out, hmm? Aside from the Grim, Huntsmen were the only ones capable of ruining our raids and hunting us down. Our tribe needed a counterforce. And Crow Makes and I were sense. the perfect age. The mm -hmm. entrance exams were child's play compared to what we'd already been through. We were good. So good that we caught the attention of Beacon's very own headmaster, Professor Osborne. Even after we were put on a team, I could tell he was keeping his eye on us. Back then, I thought it was because he knew. But it was Team Stark he was interested in. What do you mean by that? Constant attention, extra training missions, turning a blind eye whenever we happen to break the rules and get into more trouble than we should have. Sound familiar? Yeah, kind of. What's your point? How much do you know about Professor Osborne? About his past? He was a prodigy, 
one of the youngest headmasters to be appointed to a school. Because that's how he planned it. Because the man you know as Ozpin designed those schools and has followers inside every academy on Remnant that are loyal to him and no one else. That doesn't make any sense. How could he have... No, why would someone even do that? Because old man Oz has a great and terrible secret. One that could spread fear across the world. One that he eventually entrusted to our team. And once I knew, there was no going back. I needed to know more. But with every new discovery I made, the more horrifying the world became. Okay, then tell us. What's the big secret? What's so crazy that the rest of us don't know? Young usually is the really creatures like, of yeah, Grimm right. <laughs> have a master named Salem. She can't be stopped. She can't be reasoned with. And she will not rest until humanity crumbles at her feet. What? You know you two haven't even touched your tea. Why should we believe any of this? Now you're catching on. So far you've done nothing but accept what others tell you. But you need to question everything. She's questioning you pretty hard. <laughs> Otherwise you'll end up just as blind as a crow. And your fool of a father. That was unnecessary. Well, maybe not. Don't you dare talk about my family like that! You need to calm down. Yang! What is that? Please. Listen to your friend, Yang. Mm -hmm. Your teammates never let you down before. You don't know the first thing about my teammates! About me! You were never there! You left us! Why? I know more than you realize. Not just about you, and not just what I've been told, but things I've seen with my own eyes. I know the Grimm have a leader. I know people who can come back from the dead. I know that magic is real. And I can prove it. You said Ty told you all about my semblance. What is that? <laughs> Well, I doubt he ever told you what Oz did to my brother and me. Go see for yourself. What did Oz do? Was it the birth thing? Oh, maybe. Mom? Oh. Yang. Are you okay? I'll be fine once we could get her to take us to Ruby. It's okay if you're not okay. You didn't believe what she said, right? I... Of course not. Well, not all of it. It was crazy. We have dust, semblances, but, I mean, there's no such thing as magic. Raven? I've seen that bird before. Maybe it belongs to your mom? Maybe it is mom. Did you really have to show off like that? How did you do that? Well, I could explain it to you. Or you could ask your uncle. You're letting us go? I'm giving you a choice. Stay here with me, and I'll answer all of your questions and more. We can have a fresh start. Or... You can go back to Crow and join Ozpin's impossible war against Salem. And meet the same fate as so many others. But can you really go back to trusting someone that's kept so much from you?
All I care about is making sure my sister is safe. Are you really gonna explain all this to an 18 year old though? If you side with your uncle, I may not be as kind the next time we meet. You aren't kind this time either. I know. This isn't right. I get one or two of them, but all of them? <sighs> you were right. Raven. That explains it. seen a lot of things in my time, have not seen a motorcycle go through a teleporter. <laughs> Alright, the first patch is just about done. Awesome! Now we just need Crow and we'll be all set! Do you really think he's going to bring that many people? This is a lot of food. Well, uh, stop eating it. Know, but it sounds like we can use all the help we can get. I'm back. Be right there! You're going to overcook that. No, I'm not. Shut up! Hey, uh, Ruby. I'm coming! Ch that Fine. was fast. You take over. So, we didn't know how many people were coming, so we just cooked all of it. Not a lot of sisterly moments between you. these two. We needed more. I love you too. Welcome home, everybody. Almost everybody. Almost everybody. She's in on another continent. I think I can give her some slack. And that's it. Of Oscars course. and Oscars have like, oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. Oh shit. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, the things we need to learn. Uh, all right. So, I mean. Pretty calm episode. Mm -hmm. Straight, Very. direct to the point. You did, was it short? Mm -hmm. Felt short. They always feel short. Yeah. That's because we're so into it. Yeah, and not only that, but just the fact that like a lot of this information we kind of already knew. Mm -hmm. um, the only... Well, they didn't really specifically state the information. They just kind of made little references because we already know what it is. Yeah, and it, it was... And we did... Um, mm -hmm. Now that we know uh, Ozpin is the reason why they can turn into they can turn into to birds. the animal of their namesake. Yeah, or it, they, he just did it just to be convenient or something. Um, I really want to. I really cannot wait to see his reasoning behind it. I mean, the only thing that I can think of is that once they finally got to the academy. Mm -hmm. Uh, Crow in particular, uh, either through Team Stark or just being around people not part of his tribe, that he had a change of heart. Yeah. Like, he he wanted to help people mm -hmm. out. He saw how the world actually worked. Not yeah. Ra like... Raven saw, mm -hmm. saw the school as a means to, the end, to an end. Basically yes. just, you know, I'm going to mm -hmm. get these skills and then I'm going to go back the way I came because I like the life I lived. Mm-hmm. Uh, Crow sees, while well, we are a very small part, it's not the best. Mm -hmm. 
And you know what? E- even his description when he met uh, Raven mm-hmm. the first time, he was just like, they're nothing but murderers and thieves. Yeah. He didn't want to do that anymore. Mm-hmm. He saw the other side of things. The good side. Yeah, the good side of things. And he knew he had a mission, I guess, when Osmond told him. Yeah. Told and him about everything. Raven is, uh, what's the correct word, a nihilist? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, just, just, just sees bad things, is mm-hmm. very suspicious of everyone, and yes, being, and you know what, uh, the Bronwyns are two, si- two sides of the extreme coin, like, yes. in a certain way. I mean, yes, mm-hmm. Crow maybe uh, is a little too mm-hmm. easygoing with listening to Oz. It, it's for a good cause, and it's probably for the right reasons. Mm-hmm. But he is asking, he needs to look a bit deeper into it, I guess. Well, that's what you can argue. Yes. Uh, and you know what? Some people would draw the line of allowing someone to perform experiments on you to turn you into a bird. I don't know. That sounds pretty cool. I mean, yeah, it sounds pretty cool. But, you know, if someone came up to me and it's like, hey, guess what? I bird. Can, <laughs> I can make you turn into a bird. And I saw that guy, you know, on the street or something, I'd be like, you're nuts. <laughs> and in, And ignore him. But... They went ahead and did that. But on the other hand, <laughs> with Raven, yes, you question everything. But then if you question everything... Too much. You question motives. You co- you question personality. You question... Yeah, you question too much. And that's how we have conspiracy theorists. Exactly. And that's why the U.S. government is completely fucked up. Jeffrey uh, can't melt still beams. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what is it? What was it in in uh, Rooster Teeth Red vs. Blue? Uh, steel beams can't JFK the assassination or something or like that. Steel beams can't JFK the moon landing. Yeah, that's what it is. Thank you. Uh, but anyway, um, <laughs> so yeah, they're on the extreme side. I mean, Crow's not, you know, gullible. Of course. But uh, he maybe doesn't ask uh, all the questions that Need Raven. Yeah, that Raven has looked up mm-hmm. um but you were right in the beginning the fact that like all these hunters everyone that crow has wanted to ask has disappeared mm-hmm. and i thought it was you know it's it's because hey there's no hunters they've they've all been sent out on missions mm-hmm. and stuff but the fact that like they he was looking at the thing it was like eight search weeks, and just get eight weeks eight weeks eight months or however year. yeah something it, like that it just doesn't correlate because if they're a hunter they should be able to get their job done moderately soon even students can do a job and yeah but not only that every Mm -hmm. every hunter that crow has a connection with has died well we don't know if they've died they've just gone or gone m.i.a m.i.a but most likely assuming dead yeah (laughs) k.i.a yeah um but yeah the fact that so many of his contacts are gone Mm mm-hmm you know what I really liked about this episode? What's up? We learned that Stark... Sorry about it, guys. Uh, camera just spat out on me, so... Going back to what you were saying before. Oh, yes. So, we can assume that since all of Team Stark knew about what Ospin was doing, and the sort, we can kind of assume now kind of how Summer might have disappeared or died. Sin, you know, everyone kind of assumed that it had something to do with Cinder or Salem. So now uh-huh. we kind of, if they knew, that kind of concretes. Sort of, yeah. yeah. I mean, we, I mean, it was, so Osmond recruited Team Stark pretty much as soon as, mm-hmm. uh, well, we don't know exactly when they graduated, but he was interested in them. And probably, yes, when they graduated, he enlisted their help, mm-hmm. uh, did all those things. Just like he's doing for Team yeah. Murray. And by the sound of it, it's only Crow and Raven that uh, were given mad, like magic. We're, we're given magic, but the way Raven said it, Taiyang knew. knew yeah, Taiyang Taiyang knew everything, but mm-hmm. yeah. And so, yes, he, she's got a point that things were hidden from Yang and mm-hmm. everybody, but I mean. You're not going to tell all these things to your kids. Yeah. Especially when they're still in school. <laughs> and the headmaster is the one that did it. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, you, but, you can, but you can see from both sides. There's, there's a lot of uh, mm-hmm. dr- distrust from Raven. And uh, she's, 
She just sees it as uh, mm-hmm. fighting a losing war. Yeah. Yeah. She just wants... She wants... I mean, obviously she wants to win, but in this She wants case, to... Sur- she doesn't want to win. She wants to survive. Yes. And, and if that means Salem takes over the earth and takes over the world and she lives, mm-hmm. that to her that's a win. Mm-hmm. But we all know Salem and you know, like any humans live. Yeah, but I think Raven is just a little too overconfident mm-hmm. at the fact that uh, that she can outsmart or uh, just essentially stay out of things. But yeah. obviously, that's not going to happen. Not going to happen if Salem get, gets her way. Mm-hmm. But she's in denial about that, so. Yeah. I mean. Um, so yeah. now, Yang and Ruby mm-hmm. are back together. Yes. Very touching moment. Mm-hmm. Sisterly moments. Yeah. And I do, I do like, uh, it was a little corny with, uh, mm-hmm. with, with Weiss, but at the same time, um, I actually really like that part, mm-hmm. um, uh, because... If you think about it, who does Weiss have at home? Little Shitley. He's she's got Shitley. She's got Jacques. She's got her alcoholic mother, who we didn't even see. I hope we do soon, though. It would be nice if we saw her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Winter, but yeah, but Winter was what? sent back to uh, Atlas. Yeah, yeah. First she was in Mistral. Mm-hmm. Now she's back in Atlas, so she didn't even have that. The only person that she could confide in was her butler. Klein. Yeah, Klein. And, uh, but she really missed Team Ruby. Mm-hmm. And the fact that, you know, Ruby and Yang kind of see her as, you know, another sister. Yeah. Is, uh, is good. And, mm-hmm. you know, maybe, I mean, there was like a little expression that maybe she, like she, she was happy for Yang and mm-hmm. Ruby, but she was also a little bit jealous. Yeah, and then she didn't she, have that. Yeah, she didn't have that. She doesn't have a loving family. She only has Klein and, and Winter. Yep. And so that was that was a nice little mm-hmm. ending. Of so. course. So now that the three of them are together and mm-hmm. Blake is the only, is the odd cat out, um, how do you think these episodes are going to break down now? 75% uh, I'm assuming Blake, 25% because I'm yeah. still sticking with there's a three month gap and we're seeing what's happening three months back from where Ruby and them are at. You and still think to, uh, there's I still a time. Like there's a time skip every time we kind of flip around. There's about a three month gap that we're missing. It, it would be kind of, um, kind of surprising if like, just, just for example, uh, mm-hmm. like Blake leaves Menagerie and then like an episode or two later, she gets to mm-hmm. Ruby and the gang, and they're still waiting for the attack or whatever. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's it's an interesting idea, uh, unless you know, unless Blake has some really fast way of getting there. Uh, like I don't know. Hell, why not? Winter comes in with a jet and be like, "Hey, we I know you. you. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea who you are, but you're coming with me." <laughs> And then they just fly across the country. No. Not going to no, happen. That's not gonna no, happen. no, no. That's absolutely absurd. Yeah. But um, you do bring up a good uh, good point that, like, mm-hmm. it seems like these events are happening at different times. Because, I mean, they're mm-hmm. really everything that happens to to Yang, uh, Weiss, and Ruby it's about doesn't. The same. Well, not, uh, not mm-hmm. necessarily that, but just don't reflect how uh, Blake would get there. Yeah. Yeah. Like, just, the, the only thing that, like, could, uh, like, that relates to either or is uh, Sienna Khan. Obviously, that ha- that message hasn't reached Ruby and the gang yet. Mm-hmm. But it happened before the, it happened after the speech. Or before the speech. Before this. No. After. Right. Because they revealed the plan, and then it happened. Yeah. And then news is going to get out to everybody. Yeah. yeah. And communications are slow. Uh, they're probably hiding this as best they can as well. Because the Huntsman did it. Because the Huntsman did it. Mm-hmm. Good job, Hazel. Yeah. It wasn't even... Ha- no, it wasn't even Hazel. It was freaking... Uh, I know. Adam. No. Uh, Cor- uh, what was it? Corsac and Fennec? Yeah. Yeah. The Alba- or Alberain. Yeah. I had a... I wrote in the Ruby Amino. I don't know if you uh, saw it, but I think they're really 
the the leaders of the White Fang. Yes, they're the council, but the council controls everything. Right. Yeah. Kind of like how in Star Wars, the council is, you know, the big group, but then Palpatine wasn't behind the scenes. Oh, you, you mean the the Senate? Yes. How how it used to be a republic, and then it became the Empire, mm -hmm. but pretty much it had been an empire the entire just, time just yeah. palpatine was behind the scenes yeah yeah slowly gaining power mm -hmm. yeah that makes sense um anything else we're missing uh just we have to figure out what's happening with faunus hitler with faunus hitler and uh <laughs> and we got to figure out like what's been going on with the huntsman mm -hmm. and but i'm just wondering like um well, no. I, I was about to say, like, maybe they're being, like, you know, kidnapped since the little girl said, like, do you know, do, does he know where mommy is? But, I mean, it, uh... If they all went out on jobs. Yeah, if they all went out on jobs, then it, yeah, that makes more sense. Uh, so it wasn't, wasn't necessarily that, it was just that they went on missions and then they were never heard from again. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it mm -hmm. could be just an increase of Grimm, and, you know, Salem is just picking off as many hunters as she can. Because hunters are the only ones that can stop Grimm. Right. Or it's, uh, or because they know Crow, mm -hmm. and they're connected, that uh, they're picking picking off any potential allies. That would also be a very, very plausible theory. Yeah. How, you know what? How cool would it be if, like, Crow and Hazel know each other? Mm. That'd be interesting. Hmm. It's possible. It is, if he was a hunter. Yeah, but, I mean, we know so little about Hazel, that's why I'm throwing that out there. Yes. He, I mean, possibly, because Ospin knows him, he could have went to Beacon. Maybe. And because he went to Beacon and knows Ospin, Salem recruited him. Could be. Could be. Mm hmm That is... Hmm. I like that. It would be interesting. Mm hmm It would. Oh, well, you know what? Actually, now that I think about it, if, uh... If Crow, if Crow knows Hazel, then they would definitely be enemies, because otherwise Ospin would have told Oscar to get in touch with Hazel. Uh, so... But, I mean, it would be cool if, like... Hazel's a double agent. Well, yeah, well obviously, <laughs> at this point, it would be... Yeah. Uh, but it would be cool in general if Crow knew Hazel, maybe from the old Huntsman days. Mm-hmm. That'd be interesting. Kind of ran into him once or twice. Yeah. They didn't know each other. They just met each other once. Yeah. Or, like, they were friends, and then he went with Salem, and he went with Oz. It'd be interesting. Hmm. I sense another fan fiction in the in the making. <laughs> okay. So, um, that pretty much covers everything. Mm -hmm. Again, kind of a kind of a short calm episode. Mm -hmm. Very. But at least we got Ten Weiss more. and Yang back with Ruby where they belong. Mm-hmm. And we just got one more left. Mm -hmm. So I wonder how t team... I mean, at this point, it seems like once Ruby gets back together, uh, Team Juniper will include Oscar Pine. Yes. And they'll be their own team. But I guess the question after that is, do they work together or do they separate for different objectives? I'm assuming they're probably going to separate. I feel like they're going to separate because that's a little too much to have a full team. Yeah, two full teams, but I guess it, I guess the question goes to, like, what would their objectives be? And would, like, Crow go with uh, Team Ruby, or would, you know, Oscar be, or would... I feel like he would go with Oscar. Would, uh, would Oscar... Oscar? He, Oscar. I feel like he would go with Oscar. Yeah, maybe. Just because he has to help him get going again. Yeah, maybe. We'll we'll just have to see. I mean, it all pretty much boils down to how this attack on Haven will be, mm -hmm. and if uh, if Ozpin and Crow can figure out if uh, Lionheart has been deceiving them the whole time. When they figure out. Yeah, it's going to be when, obviously, but it'll it'll pretty much boil down to will they find out before or after the betrayal. Yep. Yeah, I'm still. I'm still really upset, actually, that uh, we haven't seen Pyrrha's family. Soon, hopefully. I don't know if they will at this point. Probably it's not. Been a it's been weeks, according to them. But, I mean, it would be really cool if 
it, and even um, because Ozpin also has like a ton of grief about this. Mm-hmm. He so, feels bad for it. I mean, he can't personally go and talk to Pyrrha's family, but if he could convince Jean to go, maybe. <sighs> I'm sorry. I like miserable things, <laughs> and this is the most miserable character developing thing <sighs> I can think of. Yep. But we'll just have to see whether or not it happens. So next episode. Next episode. It's always the next damn episode. One week from today. <laughs> this one took forever to come out. I completely forgot about it because I work so much. Yeah, exactly. And then, and then I was like, oh, Ruby. We have finals and Thanksgiving and. By the way, happy Thanksgiving to to you guys. Um, Since it will be out after Thanksgiving. Yeah, it will be out after Thanksgiving. And, uh, I mean, I'll be gone that weekend, so we're probably not going to record it on Saturday. But we'll find a, we'll find a time. Don't worry, I'll be working. Yeah. <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> All right. Yep. So, uh, until, we, uh, until next time, this is the 84th Wolf. I'm City and Melody. And we'll see you guys next time. Yeah, boom.